Hey guys, Game Show Hedgehog here with a review on my medium sized Jazzverse figures. Now I am missing Silver from the Black Knight series here, and I'm also missing Modern Sonic from the Generation series. Because there was Modern Classic Sonic, but I do not have the Modern Sonic. This is the only Modern Sonic I have, which was used as Jerry Mullen Hedgehog in the Ghost Hog by Biscuit298, in which I can never look at the Sonic again as Sonic because he was used as Jerry. So it's kind of hard to look at it again because he's been used a lot as Jerry. Also, in my review on my miniature Sonic figures, as I said, I'm missing Charmy, Wave, Storm, Free Riders, Knuckles. And of course the modern song. Those are the only ones I don't have. But when I do get them, I will do them in a separate review. So, let's review this one first. He's a very decent figure, although he his arm can come off. I don't want to do that right now because I'm afraid if I take it off, it won't come back on. I also use them as Ryan and Sonic Windbreaker, in which I'm planning on remaking the series or making it into a movie instead. Because I miss doing these kind of films, right? Just these figures. I was watching uh, Secret World recently, and I really miss doing something like that. So, World Heroes should be coming around soon, but um, first things first Wobbly Hedgehog Syndrome is going to get done. Here's the back. Now, there's one where this part here is red, but mine isn't. I don't know if that's a rare version or what. All I know is that my first one had red shoes, red in the back here. Here's bottom of his shoes. He's a really nice figure, but I don't use him as Sonic for obvious reasons. Like I said, I can never look at him as Sonic, but only Jerry. Now here's the Sonic and the Black Knight Sonic. My brother, oh, oh my gosh. Whoops, classic Sonic fell. He will be next, since he fell, trying to get my attention. <laughs> Probably haunted, and <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's because I'm a new figure. So anyway, my brother gave this to me, and it's a bit dusty, because it's been on the shelf for so long, I haven't picked it up. So, dusting these things ought to be added to my chore list. So anyway, he's basically the same thing as the Sonic only his joints are stiffer, and his arm right here does not come off. Comes with Caliburn, he's got a gauntlet here. The sword's got nice detail. So this is the bigger version of, you know, the Sonic and Black Knight Sonic. Here's classic Sonic. And the battery's dying. Crap. This isn't gonna going to be done fast. So this is classic Sonic. Here's back. Now it's plastic to me is a little bit on the light side. Almost like it's hollow, not solid. Here's shoes. Here's classic Super Sonic. Basically the same thing, only painted different and his quills are up. I really like it. It's pretty cool. I love the Super Sonic figures. I love the classic one. He's tiny and amazing. So here's modern Super Sonic. I used him as World Heroes. Very cool figure. And again, it almost seems like he's got all the plastic. Pretty interesting. I love the detail in this figure. It's basically like the modern Sonic figure I don't have, but painted yellow and his quills are up. And here's the Werehog. His quills can be moved up and down, which is interesting. You can add quill detail and stop motion if you wish. He's kind of the same thing as the miniature one, only can move his quills. He's got better detail, better face. He was used as the Ghost Hog, sealed inside Jerry, which ironically, my brother did not catch this, is that it's a lot like Naruto, where Naruto had a nine tails inside him, and Jerry was trying to control a Ghost Hog inside him. So, he has not watched Naruto, and he's not a fan of this show, but I am. And he did not know that till I told him. 
pretty laughed our heads off <laughs> figuring it out. And here's Lancelot. He comes with the sword. He comes with his sword here. He can move this up so you can see his face. Looks like his no, his eyes are fine. For a moment, I thought they were crooked. Now his joints are a bit loose. I don't know why that is. Probably because it's a late figure and Jasper's kind of put a rush on things because they were losing their license. Here's the back. Lancelot's really cool. And here's Excalibur Sonic. Oh crap! His head came off! <laughs> Whoa! Now here's the inside of Sonic. Excalibur Sonic. I don't like uh, the character that he was in Sonic Stop Motion Heroes. I find him to be kind of a weird character. But here's his body. <laughs> his sword glows in the dark. I can't show you that now because the battery's dying. He comes with the cape. It's a really cool figure. But because of his use in Sonic Stop Motion Adventures, I will never look at him the same way again. Thank you very much, Piplet Fan. Okay, those are the figures. If you have a request on anything you want me to review, then please feel free to leave in the comments below and I'll see what I can do.